Do you ever use the term koi wolf? I don't, um, unless I'm <laughs> telling people that I don't like the term koi wolf, which I do on a regular basis. So, um, you know, I know that's a, a term that's really caught on and it's popular with a lot of folks and, and it was greatly popularized, I think, by the um, documentary, which, um, which I was featured in for a small portion. But um, the reason, it's not just, you know, some sort of scientific snobbery or something. I think koi wolf is a term that, um, that can lead to a lot of confusion. It's, an, it's not a precise term. And what, why I say that is that the term koi wolf, it's never clear to me what people are talking about when they say koi wolf. And a lot of times if someone asks me, um, you know, hey, I heard you studied koi wolves, or why don't you say koi wolf, or, you know, are those koi wolves in your pictures? You know, I ask them, well, what do you mean by koi wolf? Are you talking about eastern coyotes, or are you talking about hybrids on the contemporary landscape between wolves and coyotes? And they kind of look puzzled, and, and, and they don't really know. And I think that's the problem, is that, so, for instance, in New England, um, or New York, we have eastern coyotes, right? It's a big coyote. They do have a historical pattern of hybridization, um, history of hybridization with wolves. And are those the koi wolves? And that's what a lot of people are referring to as koi wolves. So if those are koi wolves, then what are we going to call the hybrids between eastern coyotes and eastern wolves that we see on the contemporary landscape in Ontario? Are those koi koi wolves or, or something else? So I just think it it makes things a lot simpler and it doesn't introduce all this confusion if we refer to eastern coyotes as eastern coyotes um, and we refer to hybrids between eastern coyotes and eastern wolves as eastern wolf eastern coyote hybrids or wolf coyote hybrids then really everyone knows what we're talking about and there's no confusion but for instance in the tv show um the the meet the koi wolf show they flip back and forth and it's never clear what they're talking about they refer to koi wolves as the hybrids around Algonquin, and they also refer to them as eastern coyotes in places where there are no more wolves. And it gives this impression that there's this huge hybrid zone between wolves and coyotes, a hybrid zone that extends into the United States, into New England, and, and even other places, but there's no wolves there, so how could they be hybridizing? They do have a historical pattern of hybridization, but that hybridization is over, and they've essentially homogenized into a population of these larger coyotes that we call eastern coyotes, but we still do have true contemporary hybrids on the Ontario landscape. So I, I think the terminology is a lot clearer if we avoid the term coy wolf.